Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Hey guys, in mathematics we're going to be dealing with a lot of circles and now we're going to introduce the first lesson regarding circles. We're looking at parts of a circle. A circle has parts, yes it does. Now let's look at some of the parts of a circle. You need to memorize them, you need to understand them. Let's do the first part. In a circle there is a line which is an interval that goes from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle and it goes through the center. This is called the diameter. It goes through the center of the circle and it goes from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle. It has to go through the center. This is called the diameter. We're going to use a diameter in, in several lessons later on. Very important that you know what the diameter looks like. The other part is a radius of a circle. A radius of a circle is basically a line or an interval that goes from the center of the circle to any point on the actual circle. So the radius starts from the center and actually goes and touches any point on the circle. It is half the diameter, half the diameter. So if the diameter was five centimeters, the radius will be two and a half centimeters. If the diameter was 10, then the radius will be five. If the diameter was 20, then the radius will be 10. Very important, the radius is half the diameter. Then we have the chord. The chord is a line. It goes from one end of the circle to the other, but it does not go through the center. It doesn't go through the center. So it goes from one end to the other. It is a straight line. It goes from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle, but it does not go through the center. It's called a chord. Then we have an arc. An arc is part of a circle. So it's a portion of the circle, but not the total circle, as you can see marked in red. And now we have what we call the sector. The sector is like a pizza slice. So it's very important to know that a sector looks like a pizza slice. There it is marked in green. A sector is like a pizza slice. Remember that all the time. Then we have what we call the segments. When a chord goes through a circle, it actually divides the circle into two sections, we call segments. It divides it into a minor segment, here it's shaded in purple, and the major segment here is shaded in orange. So the red line is the chord, it goes from one end of the circle to the other, and it doesn't go through the center, however, it splits the circle into two segments, a minor segment and a major segment. The last part we're going to look at is what we call a tangent. A tangent is a line that touches the circle only at one point. A tangent is a line that touches the circle only at one point. It is a straight line as you can see in green and it touches the circle only at the point where it's marked in red. These are the parts of a circle. You need to memorize them, very easy. You need to straight away recognize them, identify them. We saw the diameter, the radius, the chord, the arc, the sector, the minor and the major segment, and the tangent. These are the parts of a circle.